She had it coming. People always get what they deserve, don't they? That's why we're here, isn't it? To get what we deserve? Counselling's bullshit. And I'm not going to be that case for you where you try and convince yourself that you're actually making a difference. I can tell. You're not going to last. I've been living with my shit for a lot longer than you and I'll still have my shit when you're gone. So, I'll just swear all up and down that I'll be a good girl from now on and we could just skip the whole sob story bit. I'm not asking you to lie about it. I'm just asking you not to mention it. So I went a little out of bounds. I just needed some air. You can't fix everything with group hugs. But I've been good with everything else. Coming here, doing the classes. So I have been good, haven't I? You know, I even liked one of the stories that you gave me. The one about a girl who burns up all of her matches trying to stay warm. I liked it because it was honest. Because she dies in the end anyways. And that's what the real world's like. Yeah. No. Mum said she was going to come down, but she ought to be saving for when I come home. Do you know if she's coming to the hearing? The girl's mum? All right, fine. So I went a little out of bounds again. It's just... I'm nervous about next week. And I noticed how long your breaks have been getting. Why'd you tell me you don't smoke? How about we make a deal? You give me some smokes, and I'll promise to be a good girl from now on. And I'll swear it this time, hand over heart. Why didn't you say something? You were supposed to be helping me. Acting like you care all the time, and you just sat there and you didn't say shit. Don't tell me how the system works. Why don't you tell me about shit that I don't know instead of telling me shit that I already know? Like how her mum come in and said all those horrible things about me and how my mum couldn't even show up. Did you see the way that everyone looked at me? Like I'm some kind of monster. I'm not a monster. I never meant to hurt anyone. They said I'd be transferring next week. I was getting sick of it in there anyways. Could do with some change. You know, I used to think that if I could get away from here, just far enough, I'd look back and see how little you all are. Like tiny little lamps, all lit up underneath, just running around, breaking apart, waiting for the match to go out. People think it's about burning stuff up, but it's not. Sometimes I just like watching the fire go, that's all. You know a match has a final jump in it before it starts to burn out. Like a last spark. And it starts to get lonely. Because you know I think even a match knows when it's dying. I asked mum why she didn't come. She just said that it wasn't a good time. Bet she'll forget that I'm leaving and turn up once I'm gone. If she does, I hope you're the one to tell her that I'm gone. Tell her I'm sorry. Yeah. Tell her I'm sorry. But we all get what we deserve, don't we?